Hey y'all, peace so nice and love and light to you. This is a pick a car reading for Did I do anything wrong or am I wrong? So first off, let me commend you guys for you at least being here because if you're here and you decided to click on this video, then for one, you're a very brave and honest person because um just one thing well, for one, it shows that you're here to right your wrong. And you're here to admit that maybe you were wrong in the situation. So, that's this, um, this, this a very mature person. And I will just say, speaking from my own personal life, like, just one, this is one type of personality that I just despise. And it's just my opinion that people who always play the victim and they do not take responsibility for their own actions. They're never the wrong one. And when they are wrong, they just try to turn the, turn the attention off of themselves so much. They just have to always blame somebody else. They cannot ever just say they were wrong. And when they were wrong in a situation, they just either try to pin that on the next person and just make themselves seem like that they were the best ones out of the situation instead of just saying yeah I was wrong you know because that's how we grow and don't I always say at the end of my videos you guys continue to come and grow with me because of course I don't know everything we all don't know everything but we're here to grow together and that's what I like about my channel because I know a lot of times I have to speak about the hard things but when you are here then it just shows that you are an honest and mature person. You're here to correct the wrongs in your life and make them right. And you understand that, you know, in order to get to some of the things we really want in life, then we must, um, that we have to, you know, fix, go within and fix ourselves first. So I commend you for even being here on this video. So let's see if you was the wrong one in any one of these situations. So this is a yes or no video. And in this video, if the cards come out upside down, this that is a no. If it's right side up, it is a yes. And in my yes or no videos, I do not do maybe. So what I'm going to do is just go. I'm going to kind of make this simple. I'm not going to give them... Um, weird letters or names this time just because when I was shuffling the cards I just felt like that um there was an en energy trying to condemn people trying to make this hard for people and I don't um so I'm not going to I'm going to just make the 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 cards pretty simple to follow so this is going to be a b c d e if okay so let's just go to a first and let's see the top card would be whether you are, are um right or wrong in the situation or i mean whether you were wrong in the situation or not the first card would be yes or no so let's see so let's say yes and <laughs> Oh, immediately I'm just now I'm thinking um this is getting real and I'm like oh, okay now I gotta tell people that they were being wrong. <laughs> so now the situation is getting real, huh? So yes, you were wrong and let's see why. Okay. Seems like first thing I heard, you were being too analytical in this situation. Get somewhere, channel and channel clearly. Get somewhere to where. Do you guys hear that sound? That is the TV. Okay. Get somewhere where you can hear clearly. Where you can hear clearly. And you can um, hear your guides clearly. You know, you guys, sometimes when we are too analytical, and I didn't pick this car, but it seems like I'm talking to myself because I'm like this. Sometimes we just get too anal, anal, <laughs> sometimes we get too analytical. So, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, guys, this, the energy around this video is, um, it's feeling, uh, this, there's this feeling of condemnation. I do not want you guys to condemn you, yourselves and 
feel bad about the some decisions you made and this is just saying you know what you guys this is just life when we get like this sometimes you know the thing is it's just that you uh, when you were like this forget about it complete and move on okay so something wants to grow in your life something wants to come out of this situation with the fertility and creativity card because i think this is the fertility and creativity card too and this is just something that just had to happen so you can grow from the situation but next time learn to quiet the mind okay so you can hear clearly because most of the time when you're making a decision most of the time it's your go by your intuition with which is your first thought your first mind don't you made this wrong decision because you was being too analytical you were just thinking too much and sometimes we can think you know ourselves out of the right thing to do and make the wrong decisions so and that's all when it comes to that card just you know next time sit down meditate think and breathe about the situation and then you can hear clearly and next time you will make better decisions so that's all that that is you know no big deal no big deal you know <laughs> we all don't get it right sometimes let's go to this second one right here were you wrong in the situation no you were not wrong partnership so it does this have something to do with a relationship or any type of relationship any type of partnership let's see what the next card say One of my favorite cards, complete and move on. I've been seeing this card lately. Okay. So, complete and move on. Number 10, out with the old and in with the new. When I see no 10s, I see 10, 10 all the time, every day. And that's what I always hear when I see that. Out with the old and in with the, in with the new. Just know that this is something that came to um, make you stronger. So, is this something that came to make you and your spouse stronger, whether it's a heterosexual or homosexual relationship, whatever it is? But you know what? No, you did not do anything wrong. You were not the wrong one. Do not let this situation condemn you anymore. I'm not really hearing any more on this, anything more on this situation other than no you did not do anything wrong but whatever this was it came to make you stronger okay it came to i really feel like this is something that has to do with the relationship though a lot in the heart and mind this is something that came to make you not so naive when it comes to maybe you may maybe you were breaking apart a relationship and if that's what it is and you want to know if um, I feel like you made the right decision, whatever it was, but were you wrong in the decision you made or were you the wrong one in the situation and whatever it was, you guys, because it doesn't have to be particularly be a relationship, then no, you were not the wrong one and no, you did not do anything wrong. And now you are more enlightened. Your heart is more enlightened. Your mind is more enlightened because now it's just like, if I can just say, now you're on to game, you know. Now you see what's real and what's fake. And that's why this situation comes. So now that it has came, it has completed, this phase of your life has completed, move on from this situation. No, you were not wrong, though. So let's go to this. Let's go to C, card C. Did you do anything wrong? Yes, this is a yes. Let's see what the next card is. Okay, seems like nurture self care prepare. This situation only came to prepare you for your next step in life. Just to prepare you in general for what for whatever is to come in the future. And that's just life. And that's why we make wrong decisions sometimes. Just for us to live from, from them. But I'm looking, from this, looking at this self-expression hierarchy versus partnership. And um, I don't know if there's something about this situation that, le that left you kind of 
embarrassed or feeling exposed you know and I'm just looking at the pictures and kind of reading that and I feel like this has something to do with you someone really not knowing their worth in some type of way and you're looking at um, the next person as someone above you or someone as like uh, who's supposed to be above you or a leader type of person when this person um does not deserve that title realize who has you know, who really is supposed to be more so like um who really has power and who don't who who you're not supposed to give that power to you know i'm looking at hierarchy versus partnership it's like, you know, are you guys together or is this um, a controlling type thing? And this doesn't have to, you know, this, this can be very literal in what I'm saying. But in this case, this is just what I'm hearing. So, and I feel like you um, was the wrong one in this situation. You were wrong in this situation just because you made a bad decision, okay? And the only reason you did because you weren't just really aware of the position that you had. I think if you would have took more of um, a stand on things and went um, in another different type of way, then you would have made the best decision. But it seems like you kind of failed to what this person wanted you to do. And you made the wrong decision. So, yes, you was wrong in that situation. But, hey, now that I'm telling you, now you know. And you know that next time, you're not going to do that. Because, like I said, this repair card is here. This is just everything. When we make bad decisions, you guys, everything comes just to make us stronger and to prepare us for what's coming, you know, next in our life. So, say this has something to do with a relationship. I feel like something better is on the horizon. So, on whatever this is, I really feel like... I feel like some of you are not here for a relationship and whatever this is. Something I'm just hearing. Spirit wants me to tell you something better is on the horizon, okay? So, and I know you're going to make better decisions the next time because now you know what it is. So, let's go to those of you who will add to card D. Were you wrong in the situation? Let's see. No. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> so, okay. Let's turn over the next card first because I think I'm already hearing. I am. I'm already hearing what this is saying. Okay. Another no. It came out another no. And I don't even really read the second card as a yes or a no. But I know this is just some strong condemnation. Something really wants you to feel bad about this situation. Okay, self-expression, flex flexibility within structure, light and heart and mind, perfection versus imperfection. No, you're not wrong. You're just so hard on yourself. That's the only reason why you're here. You, you're not, you, you weren't wrong in the situation at all. Your spirit is telling me more right now. I can't hear it. I just hear that you're really hard on yourself. With this perfection versus imperfection card. And that's the reason why you're here trying to see if you were wrong about something. And no, you weren't wrong. You didn't make the wrong move. You're the type of person that wants to do everything right. You know, you're a little bit of a perfectionist. And everything cannot go, you know, perfect all the time. And in this situation, you were not wrong though. You didn't do anything wrong. And for some reason, I feel like you kind of had to put your foot down or something like that. And maybe people want you to feel wrong, but you were not wrong. Keep standing up for what you believe in, okay? I was thinking that when I first saw this self-expression card, and I know it's another self-expression card up there too, but when I saw this one, that is the first thing I heard was be yourself, be who you are. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about who you are, you know. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, okay? So keep standing for the truth, keep standing up for who you are, whatever it is, you are not wrong. And if you had to tell somebody the truth about a situation, you were not wrong, okay? Whatever it is, no, you are not wrong. So let's move on to E. 
Let's move on to E. Were you wrong in the situation? Yes. Okay, let's look at the second card. Oh, I love this card. I just think it's so beautiful because I like her hair. So, immediately I heard this is just... This is just life. This is just has to do with growth. You may, and I'm not trying to belittle anyone with what I'm about to say or try to make you seem like you're immature or anything like that. Because the thing is, you guys, whether you are 15 years old or whether you're 50 years old, we are still growing and we make decisions sometimes because we don't know any better. And this is just you didn't know any better. And this situation is fertility and creativity, flexibility within, structure, within structure. Um, What I am immediately hearing, this is just you having to grow. And this came just for you to grow in. Just for you to grow from, you know. Complete and move on. So it's like this is like the third card that said that number ten, I was the old and in with the new. Whatever the situation is, I was the old and in with the new. This came to be a completion in your cycle, a completion in your life. Okay, so you might see um, tens a lot, or you might see nines a lot, and it's just this this part of your life has been completed. So, and you know what? good job for completing this even though it says that you made the wrong decision you still completed it and you're here so you can see what to do better next time what the thing that you learned that thing that you went through you learned from it you made the right decision just because you didn't know any better so now you know better now you know better forget about it move on from this situation now it is the past okay this situation came just to grow you up and that's all okay so hey we all are forever growing so that's all for that one and for this last one a b c d e f g okay were you wrong in this situation no what a beautiful card, right? No, you were not wrong. You were not wrong in this situation. Regroup. Wow. Okay, I'm hearing a lot already. So, channel clearly. Okay, this is it's similar to that one. Yeah. I won't be surprised if I say the same message. <laughs> a lot in heart and mind. Oh, okay. It's a little different. Almost some of you might be led to that one too. And I don't advise people to be led to more than one card when it comes to yes or no readings. But um, I have been before and they're supposed to, um, you can sometimes get different message messages from that. But yes or no readings, I do not advise you to do that. Okay, but the thing is, when it comes to this situation, this is all about your heart, your mind. This is... Uh, more so about your heart, okay? So, I don't know if you was heartbroken in some type of way. Spirit really had to show you something, whatever the situation was. And I'm looking at her holding. What is that she's holding? I think a bob with some flowers in it. I have to look at it later. thing is, she's been enlightened about something. And if there was a heartbreak situation, I'm so sorry this happened to you. You were not in the wrong. It just have this is this only just happened because spirit wants you looking at this card is green to work on your heart chakra. And I feel like this has came because spirit wants to work on your heart chakra. Spirit wants to send love into your life. But there is some healing that you need to do on your heart first. You didn't do anything wrong in this situation. Regroup, okay? Don't just be so in your thoughts all the time sit down and think about what you could have done differently if you was in a certain situation you didn't do anything wrong okay but if you were in a certain situation then think about what you could have done differently 
channel clearly nurtures and self care start taking care of yourself more okay i'm really feeling this strongly you do not take care of yourself more you are more so taking care of other people and not yourself and one reason why you are not hearing clearly is because you're not taking care of yourself i'm going to tell you to work on your crown chakra your third eye chakra which you have a lot to work a lot of work in i just heard that immediately you have strong light work to do with your crown and third eye chakra um yes it is a gift but you need you have work to do when it comes to that so so keep your crown and your third eye chakra healthy and balanced okay <laughs> work on your heart chakra this situation came to work on your heart chakra you know what i feel like you grew from this and i think your heart chakra is actually um opening more and i think there's something that you've been praying praying with and actually working on too so whatever this situation did whatever happened with this situation if this had some type of heartbreak i'm really feeling it in some type of way it don't even have, it might not even have nothing to do with that relationship but now you see it for what it is you know um you know how to deal with this situation now so now you can learn from this situation and just um move on from it but next time Next time, start taking care of your sister so you won't, um, in order to avoid being in situations like that, like this, even though you did nothing wrong in this situation, okay, um, the reason you're here because you're unable to, you know, really hear for yourself right now, you need confirmation on this, something is like, negative entities are really trying to condemn you saying you did something wrong when you didn't but um maybe you just feel wrong because the situation was bad but you learn from it you learn from it next time like i said take better start taking better care of yourself so you can hear clearly so you can hear a spirit guiding you to tell you no don't go down that road okay so whatever road you went down and if you felt wrong don't do it don't feel wrong because you did nothing wrong so that is all you guys please let me know down in the comments how well any of this resonated with you i love when you guys come in because i love to hear your stories i come in back sometimes like if you ask me questions and things like that and i just i just really love to hear you guys stories and stuff because i just really relate to them sometimes they're similar to mine so we're like a little family on here and yeah, so that's all, you guys. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe. Bye.